the first wooden parish church in Nimayune was built in 1786. When it decayed, the construction of a brick church began, but the Tsarist authorities stopped the construction. The existing wooden church was completed in 1878, based on the design of the well-known Lithuanian neo-romanticist Thomas Dyshetskis. The Tsarist Russian authorities did not like the initiative of the priest Angel Masnanevichus to arbitrarily initiate the construction of the church, despite the prohibitions, so he was fined by a considerable sum of 150 rubles. It is one of the few wooden churches in Lithuania with neo-Gothic features. Its builders try to imitate the Gothic forms of St. Anne's Church in Vilnius. Neo-Baroque and Classicist elements also complement the neo-Gothic forms. The church is symmetrical, of a rectangular layout, with a chapel on one side of the presbytery and a sacristy on the other. The building that has two towers of the octagonal base and the main facade, a dome above the presbytery, a quadrangular central turret and pinnacles, is richly adorned with other elements of exterior decor, ornamented crosses on the towers and peaks, wooden decorative finishing elements, and fine partitions of windows and skylights. The majestic impression of the facades is created by woodwork finishing, which imitates tracery, pinnacles, rosettes, and other decorative elements typical of Gothic masonry architecture. The sculpture of the crucifix is incorporated in the rear facade. The interior church base is divided into three naves by rows of paired columns with extremely ornate Corinthian orders. Neo-Gothic altars, valuable paintings by Rafalevichus and Silvanovichus, an authentic pulpit, confessionals, chandeliers and a lamp with eternal flame have been preserved in the church. Inside the church, one may see unique, legendary, authentic 19th-century carpet made of bright sachets, considered a unique cultural heritage. In the past, brides had a tradition to weave a sash to be donated to the church before their weddings. 64 such sachets were later used to pleat the carpet. Legend has it that if one has bad luck in finding a partner, or needs reinforcement in love affairs, or lacks of harmony in the family relations, it is enough to come and touch this carpet. Several years ago, the church was reconstructed, a heating system was installed, and the buildings belonging to the church were maintained. They are now open for overnight stays. Pilgrims, travelers, artists participating in plein airs stay there.